Genetic Engineering Do you remember the catastrophic Bengal famine in 1943? The Bengal famine was a harrowing disaster that India witnessed decades ago during World War II. The province of Bengal was merely a spectator to the gruesome death of an estimated 3 million due to starvation and malnutrition. This ghastly occurrence was a result of British policy failures that escalated the magnitude of the famine. This incident caused sleepless nights for many, and M.S. Swaminathan was one of those people. This unprecedented tragedy instigated within him a zeal to toil with determination to prevent similar future mayhem. M.S. Swaminathan emerged as the father of the Green Revolution by employing the magic of genetics. He utilized high-yielding varieties of seeds and scientific methods to increase crop production and thereby eschew the diabolic clasp of famine in India. Yes, he is a geneticist, a true revolutionary. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. In this video, let's dive into the details of genetic engineering. The year 2011 bore testament to pest-resistant Bt cotton proliferation, cultivated across 10.6 million hectares from 9.4 million hectares in 2010. This phenomenon was analyzed by economists Graham Brooks and Peter Barfoot, who inferred an elevation in India's economy by $9.4 billion from 2002 to 2010 with 2.5 billion in 2010 alone contributed by the burgeoning Bt cotton. Genetic engineering is inevitable in enhancing the quality of human life. This path-breaking field confronts inherent issues like nutrition and food supply in agriculture, management of vector-borne diseases in public health, and environmental stewardship by exploring novel approaches and solutions. Therefore, genetic engineering can be defined as the manipulation of an organism's genome for development in healthcare, medicine, and agricultural industries. A revolutionary approach. Genetic engineering is at a prospective stage in India. In recent years, the course has witnessed a remarkable rise in the allocation of grants and funds for its research and development. Quite a few scientific research institutions like IISER, CSIR, ICAR, TIFR and so on have been established by the Government of India. We can expect this momentum to snowball in the near future. However, countries abroad open up better opportunities to genetic engineers than India. North America occupied a prominent share of the genetic engineering market at 42.5% during the year 2019. Factors that contributed to this were the rise of gene therapy, increasing focus on gene expression studies, government initiatives, and the availability of funding for NGS research, all driving the growth of the industry in the region. The genetic engineering industry bears testimony to soaring growth in the Asia-Pacific region with a CAGR of 3%. This is an upshot of rapid economic developments and the need for an enhanced healthcare system. China has engaged in massive investments in recombinant DNA technology and genetic engineering, which has successively enkindled a positive reinforcement for the industry. However, for a genetic engineer, wherever you go, the roles and responsibilities of genetic engineers are unaltered and thrilling. Some of these action-packed responsibilities are as follows examining DNA structures of organisms with modern equipment and technologies, designing and executing these for improved study, understanding complex genetic structure for innovation, modifying genes of plants, animals, and other species, including microorganisms, for better function, helping in the preparation of antibiotics against disease-causing organisms, handling hereditary diseases by studying the genetic structure of an organism. At the Pittsburgh Liver Research Center and McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine, genetic engineering was deployed to change particular genes, which were then utilized in developing mature human liver tissues from stem cells. This was a trailblazing innovation as this is a precursor to the manufacture of other organs with vasculature via genetic programming. Therefore, the responsibilities of a genetic engineer is not a piece of cake. Essentially, a genetic engineer must possess an incredible skill set to be adept in this field. These outstanding skills are Critical thinking skills will foster inventions. Problem solving will help in the right decision making during any experiment. A strong understanding of all scientific technologies to research for innovation. Reasoning skills to carry out a thesis. 
communication skills to explain the thesis, and computer skills with CAD, Python, graphics, PERL, and Word to present the results of the work. These skills will transform you into the perfect genetic engineer. An augmented investment towards sophisticated technology and an upswing in healthcare expenditure have molded the growth of the genetic engineering industry. Drug discovery and development and a magnified demand for personalized medicine and chronic diseases like cancer would be the most lucrative genetic engineering applications, a ceaseless field. Therefore, as a genetic engineer, your opportunities are boundless, synonymous with the field, and you're sure to be placed in top companies across the country. Like Panacea Biotech, Boston Biological, Wokhart, Cadilla Pharmaceuticals, Bharat Biotech International, Claris Life Sciences, Intas Biopharmaceuticals, Invitrogen, LG Life Sciences India, MKO Pharmaceuticals, and Datar Cancer Genetics Limited. Being a highly research-oriented field, a PhD degree is almost always imperative in this area. This confers on you to choose between your path of being a professor or a research scientist. However, for a UG or PG graduate, the option of a research assistant or as a lab manager is made possible. Now it's time to unearth and answer the most anticipated question. What is the salary package of a genetic engineer? The average salary given to any entry-level graduate from genetic engineering is 5.56 lakhs per annum. It increases for a mid-level experienced person with an average salary of 7.77 lakhs per annum. And when you possess an enhanced experience and exposure in the sector, your salary is raised to an average of 9.78 lakhs per annum. Since genetic engineering is a lucrative field, it will entail high competition. Therefore, it's imperative for you to start your preparation and ensure your eligibility into a good institution. It is possible with a minimum aggregate score of 60% in higher secondary education, followed by passing entrance exams like JEE Main, JEE Advanced, SRMJ Triple E, VIT Triple E, BITSAT, JNU Triple E, and so on. This process is then followed by rounds of counseling and a personal interview. The global gene expression market is expected to reach 6.78 billion US dollars by the year 2027 at a CAGR of 8.1%. Gene expression promises to tap into a previously unexplored segment in the wide and thriving genetic engineering industry. Therefore, to be among the finest in this prosperous and competitive field, it is imperative that you study in a top-notch institution. Some of the top institutions are as follows. University of Delhi, Maharshi Dayanand University, MDU, Bharatiyar University, Coimbatore, SRM University, Banaras Hindu University, Chaudhary Charan Singh Haryana Agricultural University, Acharya Nagarjuna University, Punjab Agricultural University, Guru Nanak Dev University, Dr. Rajendra Prasad Central Agricultural University, Osmania University, Manipal University, University of Kolkata, Madurai Kamraj University, Madurai, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, Indian Institute of Technology, Gauhati, and AWH Special College. The average course fee charged in India ranges between 2 and 10 lakh rupees for the course period and the average salary for a fresher is rupees 5.56 lakhs per annum, which means that you can earn back your salary in less than 2 years. However, if your driving force to enter this field is not merely the remuneration but rather to live your dream of being an advocate of change, yes, you can. A group of scientists from the US and Israel have proposed a CO2 removal strategy that employs the potent methods of synthetic and systems biology. The further development and deployment of SSP could engender plant modification to remove CO2 from the atmosphere perpetually. Therefore, if tackling climate change concerns you, genetically modified organisms can be your panacea as a genetic engineer. A skilled genetic engineer can work in both the private and public sectors. Genetic engineering has made remarkable contributions to society since the late 20th century. With the ever-increasing number of biotech companies in India, the scope for genetic engineering is ever-expanding. However, opportunities are manifold in countries abroad, primarily the US, UK, Canada and Germany. 
it has conferred the world with robust and pest resistant crops leading to magnified productivity recombinant insulin to tackle diabetes and innovative prognostic and diagnostic tools what is the course that you want to pursue next tell us we will provide all the information that you need to make the right decision if you agree with our analysis give us a thumbs up follow us on facebook twitter instagram and for more information visit collegesuggest.com